guys, so welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd go through some new action figures that I found for some toy photography. Um, I can't remember where I saw them, but I know I was probably drunk at the time when I come across the, an advert. Um, and it's a company called Joy Toy. Never heard of them before until I found them online. Um, they're a Chinese company, I think, that makes quite high quality, high detailed action figures. Um, I've bought a couple, they're not cheap, um, I had some Christmas money, um, so I thought why not. I've been taking an online uh, like toy photography course um, and it's kind of opened my eyes up to what you can do and how good it should look. I was happy with my results that I've been doing, um, but this is taking it to the next level. Rather than just taking one shot, you're taking 20 and stitching them together and um, merging it's it's very detailed so to make the best of those shots you need high quality um, action figures so I've been normally going with the black series or the Marvel Legends or um, some other like Thundercats Ghostbusters I can see over there some Space Marine stuff so I've been looking around and there is there is some out there there are sorry there are some out there and the quality is not great so when I found these Joy Toy, I was well impressed, like ridiculously impressed. My first one I got is this guy. This guy is called Fear 4 Long Range Sniper. Um, I ordered it on, I think, Christmas Day, I think I did. Um, and it came during the Christmas break, um, on one of the three days. It is an expensive toy. Um, and, but for what you get, the quality is amazing. But there are some problems. <laughs> first things first, it turns up in pieces. And which is great, it's all well laid out, it's well presented, it fits quite well. But the problem we have is these are the instructions. So if I put those there so you can see. Everything's in Chinese. Nothing's really labelled, and although it tells you where to put the parts, it doesn't really tell you how to attach them. So in the end, after about 45 minutes of trying, I kind of gave up and just did it however I wanted to. Um, which, to be honest, I, what I mainly used was the box art. Um, it's actually quite uh, ideal, really, for that, because you can see what parts are which. Like each part is different to the to the part above or below. They've all kind of got different straps, different clips, stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, the camouflage on it is it's in one, two, three. It's like five or six pieces. So all of this all comes off. Uh, you can take his hood down. Um, his fingers all move on their own individually. Um, I don't really want to start messing with it too much because I'm really happy with this pose and it took me so long to get it. Um, but as you can see from here, look, so if I take his gun out for a minute, so each thumb, index finger, so he can even give you the middle finger, um, but it is amazing. There are a couple of little gripes I have with it. Um, one, for the money, the instruction should have been a lot better. Two, the hands come off ridiculously easy. Like, as, even as you're adjusting them, the hands come off. Actually, whilst it's off, I'll show you the, the articulation in the fingers there. So each finger moves on its own. The thumb is on a ball joint, so you can come right in if you want to. It's really good detail. Um, and the whole figure is so movable, it's ridiculous. Um, but it's just getting these hands to stay in place. They're a nightmare. But again, for the money, you'd kind of expect a bit more quality in that joint. So the joint is meant to come off because that's how you get the arm piece on, uh, like one of the armour pieces. Um, because when you get it, it ju it's just a skeleton. It's, I've got a picture. Yeah. As you can see there, that's how it comes in the box. What you do get with it as well 
is a pilot. Um, again, she's very high detailed. Um, her eyes are a little bit too big for my liking, as you can see there. Um, but again, she's fully articulable. Articulable? Is that the word? I'm not sure. She moves around a bit, um, but like all of her arms and everything are on ball joints. She can move. She's got really good leg movement. She can sit. I've been sitting her up here on his shoulder. Um, she can fit in the bit at the back, although it is a bit of a nightmare to get her in and out. Um, she comes with a, quite a nice sniper rifle. Um, I was thinking when I got this, before I got these, I was going to kind of repaint the guns a bit to make them look a bit more realistic. From what I saw in the pictures, they weren't great. But yeah, I'm more than happy with it, to be honest. Um, I can't wait for the weather to die down and go out into the woods and take some proper photos. Um, she comes with a hat that clearly doesn't fit her head. And her hair is moulded onto her head, so there's no point, there's no way of getting it off. So I'm not really sure about that. And she also does come with a gas mask. Again, I'm not really sure how that goes on because it's too big for her head. Uh, what she does come with as well is a handgun, which does come out, but I'm going to leave it in there for the moment. So when I got this, I've kind of got some ideas of some pictures in my head. So I thought, right, I've got a little bit more Christmas money left, so I'm going to buy another figure. So I was looking around, and then I found that they did Navy Seals. So Navy Seals look amazing, uh, these figures. So I thought, buy one again. It's not very cheap, but for the scale of the figure, the quality is stunning. I mean, like ridiculous levels. So first of all, for all your money, you get that box, which isn't very big. Um, but the art on the front of the box is exactly how the figure looks. It is amazing. Um, so the box opens up, show the figure inside. Uh, it does come with a little, a few accessories. So we've got the main man himself, which is there. As you can see, quality is absolutely perfect. Uh, there is one gripe with it as well, um, but I'll tell you that in a second. Um, he has loads of bits and bobs that come off and on, so his handgun comes out, the backpack at the back comes off. Um, it comes with two guns, so you've got the LMG and the assault rifle, which I'll put there so you can see. And there's the LMG. Uh, he also does come with a little accessory pack, which includes another set of hands in different poses and a set of night vision goggles that clips on the front of his helmet that I've never actually put on. Okay, so there you go. Again, it's got potential for uh, toy photography. Uh, if you want to do like a foggy at night shot, can kind of uh, Photoshop in some red glow or green glow off the lenses. Um, again, he is very movable. He moves around in every single way a normal human should. Um, in interchangeable hands, uh, his head moves, he's got double socketed knees so he can bend all the way back. The front of his foot also tips forward so he can be kneeling. Um, the colour and the detail of everything on him is absolutely perfect. So let's take that off. The face detail as well, it's even got a little moustache, you can see like little red wires going round. Again, it's not cheap. Um, and my only gripe with it is the backpack is an absolute arse to keep on. It falls off. So what I did is I got a little hobby knife and I kind of made the hole a little bit bigger because it seemed like the little pole thing that came out of his back was too big. Um, but again, now I've done that, it stays on there quite well. Um, but again, it's absolutely amazing quality figure. There are three of them. There, there is another... Uh, I think this is the support guy. Then you've got 
uh, and a, a rifleman, and then there is also a sniper. But sniper comes with a massive backpack on his back, um, which I didn't like the look of. In all honesty, I would have gone with the assault rifle guy um, because I like assault rifles more than uh, light machine guns. But the fact that this comes with an assault rifle as well is perfect. Um, so I highly recommend these figures if you can afford them. Um, and they will do brilliantly for me in my photography course um, because you need high detailed figures for what I need to do. So if I actually I'll spin this guy around so you can see the back of him as well. So this bit here, the backpack, uh, is where the pilot sits. It is a bit of a faff to get her in and out, um, so I don't bother because I don't see the point in get, spending all this money for a figure that comes with a pilot hiding him away. I'd rather have her on show with him. Um, but yeah, that, they are a bit of a nightmare to get hold of as well because they're a Chinese company. You can get them on Amazon, um, but there are a lot of them are out of stock. There are some on eBay. There are a couple of second-hand ones. Um, but I ended up getting them through some toy shops in England um, that, again... There are quite a few different kinds of mech, but a lot of them are out of stock. Um, so just be a bit careful. If you see one that you want, you may have to shop around a little bit for it. They do sell them on AliExpress. Um, that is probably one of the only places you can get guaranteed to get them from. But they, with AliExpress, you could be waiting a month. So if, you, if you've got time to wait, AliExpress is your way. There isn't much of a price difference. Um, I think for what the Navy SEAL is on AliExpress is what I paid for it in England. Um, but I probably will get a couple more. Uh, I actually would like to get the complete set of SEALs, so another two. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is in the next week or so, I'm going to take a little trip out to the woods when I get some spare time and set up a few scenes and take some pictures. Um, but yeah, no, it's perfect. I, I really like them. I think they're, they're such a good quality figure for what they are. And what I do is at the end of this, I'll do a little bit of B-roll for you so you can see a bit up close because I know I'm a bit limited on what you can see from here. So that's it really. Just a nice quick video of some figures that I highly recommend for some toy photography. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, there will be some more videos coming. I'm starting to do a bit more and more. Uh, I've got a new main camera. Uh, Canon EOS M50, um, only 1080p, but the autofocus is banging. Like I used to film on my D7500, which is great, quality is brilliant, but the autofocus is pants. So it's always creeping in and out, no matter what lens I'm using, what settings I'm using. Where this, I just point it, push record, it picks up my face, and it just goes with it. Uh, I am testing out new lights as well, so the videos will look a bit, a bit different every single time until I dial it in. Um, but please bear with me. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe and comment. Actually, comment. If, if you've got these toys and you have any thoughts on them, please comment. I'm really interested to see what you've got to say. This is my first experience with these and I think they're great. Like the, When I first got these, I was... Sometimes when I buy that, bought action figures before, the guns are a bit, because they're thin, they're quiet, they can get bent and warped, so you kind of have to warm them up and restraighten them. But his gun is absolutely rock solid. You couldn't, you couldn't bend that at all. And her sniper rifle, again, because even that's thin, dead straight. Um, his gun here probably has a very slight bend downwards, um, which I probably can rectify in some warm water. Um, but at the moment, for what it is, it's... I say it's not bothering me. So thanks very much for watching um, and I'll see you again soon.